the comments, the interactive, the folded comments, and uh, a couple of them also already took the ready for the workshop as well. So. All right. Uh, well, I guess uh, I guess I'll just get started over here. Go ahead, man. So, um, so let's see if uh, you are familiar with any of my books. It's probably this one. Meanwhile, oh, wow. and um, I guess what's uh, unique about this comic book is um, instead of one story. Uh, the book actually branches off into many different possible stories. And the way that works is, uh, you follow the story along, and uh, basically you follow uh, from panel, panel to panel all of these here. Okay. And when you get to, when one of these tubes bleeds off the page, you actually turn to that tab page. Oh, uh, I see, okay. So it's, uh, it's a pretty simple idea, uh, but uh, it's, the story just keeps branching off in all these different yeah. directions, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, okay. now I was wondering, um, before you uh, uh, continue, I was wondering, I mean, they're, they're interactive comics. I was wondering, do you, get any, do you know about the book Choose Your Own Adventure? Choose Your Own Adventure? Yeah. I love, I love the Choose Your Own Adventure books when I was a kid. Uh, any inspiration from there? What? Any inspiration from uh, the Choose Your Own Adventure books? Or I mean, yes, yes, of course. They're uh, they're my biggest influence. Okay. Um, I must have read the first hundred, uh, <laughs> each of the first hundred, about two or three times okay. uh, when I was a kid. I was obsessed did with finding all the different endings. Did you did you ever cheat and like read out the whole books and go to the front or to the back and stuff yes, like that? Of course. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I remember there's one in particular, uh, UFO fifty four fifty, uh, that actually had an ending. Uh, and the only way you could find this ending was actually to cheat. There's no way to uh, really? make choices to this ending. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, that, that blew my mind when I was a <laughs> um, Okay, but, yeah, uh, I thought I showed you guys something kind of cool. And um, even, though, uh, even though I've been working professionally as a cartoonist for about three years now, uh, I've actually been drawing comics for about 15. So the uh, the vast majority of my career, um, or the vast majority of my time I've been doing comics, uh, has actually been um, non-professionally. Non and I thought, uh, I don't know if you can see here, but I actually see some of uh, the comics that I've made over the years. Wow. Uh, nice. So as you can see, um, most of these are actually uh, self-published uh, um, that means uh, these are comics that uh, I drew myself. Um, instead of going through a printer, I actually went to a copy store uh, and uh, printed them that way, published them that way, and distributed them uh, by, by a mail order, or uh, I take them down to a local copy, uh, comic book store. Oh. Um, and I thought I'd show you guys uh, my very first comic that I made. Uh, this was about 15 years ago, and today we'll actually be making similar to this. Um, but this is my very first comic, it's called The Last Supper, and the idea is pretty simple, which was, uh, you'll see there's an arrow here, and here is you follow the story by unfolding the comic in the direction of the arrow. And uh, you do the first arrow, and the second arrow, uh, and you keep unfolding. Um, and at this point, you actually get to make a choice. So you can unfold the comic up this time, or you can unfold it this way. And then that leads to more choices, and those lead to more choices. You can go up here, or you can go over here. So um, later on, uh, in just a few minutes, I'll be showing you how you can make one of these yourself. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I thought I'd show you uh, very quickly just some of my other uh, sort of homemade comics and experiments that I've made over the years. Okay, sure. Um, so this is actually a more recent one. Uh, it's based on a mathematical shape called a flexagon. Flexagon. Um, <laughs> A flexagon. 